Hey YouTube, what's up? Pest Controllers here. And today, I'm going to share with you guys some squirrel hunting tips I had from experience. So, uh, here we go, let me get started. Okay guys, my first tip is look on the ground. You can see we have some broken up nuts here. And sometimes we find some whole nuts, which usually means squirrels are around. Because they do, obviously, you know, they do eat nuts. So that is a very easy way to tell if squirrels are around. Uh, also, look up in the trees. You'll see branches shaking very, very vigorously. Usually means there's a squirrel or some other type of, of pest in the area, like a bird or anything. Okay, now second is also looking in the trees for these. Let me show you. See that blob right there? Right in the tree, about right there. That is a squirrel nest. Now squirrels will obviously nest in these and bring their acorns. This is an obviously good place to find broken up or cracked acorns. Now, I'll show you what they look like a little better. Okay, now you can see it pretty good. Usually about 30, 40 feet up in the air. And now what I recommend doing, if you have two people with you, is one shoot the nest, because that draws the squirrels out, or either kill them there and they fall off. Or if they come out, they run and have the other person shoot them. So that's another good way. And now, uh, so look up, they'll be everywhere. Like there, and another one right there. Well, that one's being constructed. Now I'll have help down here. Okay, here, I'll do the demonstration for you guys. One. Let's see if I can stand this up. Okay. A very handy tool you can use for squirrel hunting. Squirrel call. Get them from Bass Pro for about 10 bucks. Pretty good. Some different calls I know. I'll wait for my dog. I don't know. Is it different calls I know? Now, right now, I'll do a, uh, I'll do a regular squirrel call that you might obviously hear sometime. So, uh, here we go. Now, that is usually an eastern gray or a fox squirrel. And um, that usually draws them in. If you see one, it gets them rowdy and it gets them coming out more. Now, um, and this is another one, it's a chatter call, which is when they communicate a lot of times. And this is how it goes. You just grab it. You don't touch anything. Grab it like this. Make sure the, both the holes are not covered up, and just shake it. Now see? Make sort of a chattering noise, like you would see from a squirrel. And um, the last call I know, which is when you really die or need something to happen, is a death call when either a hawk picks it up and it just screams as loud as it can. Now, you usually see this when uh, hawks are mostly out, in the more more in the afternoon because I like to use the the setting sun as like protection so the squirrels can't see them or anything but uh here we go and I should probably continue that for about Maybe 30 seconds, he should keep going going, because uh, obviously they do die off a little bit. Now, uh, another little tip I would have, and I'm going to show you. Obviously, if you're woodland, and you're not going to wear bright orange shirts out to scare the squirrels away, you're going to need to buy camo. Camo is a very helpful tool for any type of hunting. Any, any type. Now, uh, let me take you out back. Another thing which most squirrel hunters do not have, I do is a tree stand. This is just a makeshift tree stand I made. I'll show you it once I get there. It's, a, it's about a 30 second walk from here. But these do come in handy, especially when you're wearing camo. Squirrels are not obvious of you and you will very, very easily show this, uh, hide from them. And I'll show you how effectively this works in one of my next videos in the summertime when I go squirrel hunting. But, uh, now a good tree to use is a pine tree like this. They're very big, they have easy branches to climb up of, and that's why I chose, there they are. That right there. Now, I'll give you a little closer look on it. Let me 
need to walk around this. See, all it is is a little chair. Stadium seat chair that I bought a while ago. Just put it up in a tree. Come up with them that slide. You can slide over so they can't see it. Stand there, put my feet up, you know, just wait for the squirrels to come. Go them in, track them. But yeah, it's very helpful. I recommend getting that. Another probably good thing to do is stay in a wooded area so they cannot see you. Now, squirrels are pretty observant. You just gotta make sure you're well blended in with the environment and you're prepared for the environment. So, um, I hope you guys do go squirrel hunting sometime. It's a very fun activity and, uh, you know, it really gets, gets your blood pumping. Uh, I found it very fun and uh, very enjoyable. And I hope you guys found these tips uh, helpful. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.